literally no one is playing Genoa, yet it has great economy, good mission tree, and the most unique part of Genoa is its colonies. It has colonies all over the Mediterranean. In this video, I'll show you how to play Genoa. As usual, let's start with privileges. Mana privileges, very important, current religious diplomats, also grand clerical education, nobility officer rights, take perk loans, and you might want to take enforced interfaith dialogue. You might want to. Why? Well, because like half your provinces are not of your faith, so you need some turrets of heretics and heathens until you can convert it. You could also grant orthodox autonomy, but you won't be able to convert these provinces at all, so be careful. Now Switzerland, scornfully insult Ottomans, ally Austria, yes you can always ally Austria if you take religious diplomats and scornfully insult Ottomans, I am 90% sure you would be able to. And try to look at France, Hungary, Poland, Lithuania, preferably ally someone. If you can't right now, well, not a big deal. When your electors are rivals, choose to be honest whatever you want. You might not choose Byzantium, so it doesn't try to find allies, but it doesn't really matter. Now you need to build 6 transports, yes, 6 transports, not less. Well, you could get by with 12 transports, but 14 would be more safe. Okay, and build galleys, and I mean tons of galleys. You need a lot of them, start building them now. All the my mistake, save this island, just build transports here, and that's it. For now, just don't build anything else. Okay, so now let's wait for our diplomats to return. Start building Spanish on Byzantium, you don't even need to know CB8, you're quite lucky. And, well, try to find some ally. I can ally Hungary, for example. Sometimes you can also ally France, but not always. I would use one more diplomat to improve relations with France. Better more allies than less. And you can start transporting your army to your islands, somewhere on this island. And I think I should briefly explain your government reform. Plutocracy. Martian Republic. Basically, you should avoid state provinces. You can trade power from your vessels, and you can create trade leaks, which will give you their trade power. Also, Genoa has factions, they all provide different bonuses, and you can boost one of them depending on your station. Byzantium declared an Epirus, that's not usual, not usual at all. Okay, if you recall, this province should be free. As soon as ship is finished here, you want to build free company. And let's continue building Kelis. Why do we need Kelis? Well, to beat Ottomans and Venice. They both have an insane amount of ships. Don't worry about your naval force limit, it's just a number. Here we go, 20 spy network, let's fabricate claim. Now we need to unite all of our ships. Okay, so now we need to hire an admiral. Okay, it will do. Make ruler your general. We also need more influence for nobility, let's summon the tight. And grant one more privilege. Well, it was a cost, why not? You might even want to save scum for good general. Well, I don't need to, but you might want to. Now let's declare on Byzantium. Yes, it has some allies, it will most likely have them. But they won't worry. They won't be able to reach you. Now you want to be really, really careful here. You don't want to land your troops right on Byzantium. You want to try to move them on the province without it. If it moves here and has a luck, you can uh, click on your ships, right click, you'll be able to call your army back, and then just move in different province. Also works. Okay, anyway, that's why I said 14 transports is more safe. You want to try to stack by Byzantium, ideally. If you don't have enough of troops or have good general, you can also try to hire some company. Well, I can't, but you should be able to hire it in your islands. Or maybe even here. It's a little bit RNG dependent, but Generally, you should be able to win this engagement. Generally. With your second free diplomat, you might want to build Spanner on Crimea. Sometimes it might be a good target. Here we go, Siege on Snowball. Now, ideally, you would try to conquer Maria, but in this case, it's not really possible. So, in this case, I'm going to try to piss out Byzantine allies. Now, I'm going to conquer Theodora. Well, usually, first, I would try to conquer Maria, but we have it here. We can wait, peace Valachia. And, okay, that's not good. So, this is not your every scenario. It is really unlucky scenario, I would even say. Let's imagine that didn't happen, you also like Byzantium, you take Constantinople for yourself, and you won't be able to take some money, so I won't take any money. You will have 100 more score. Okay, uh, that was a mistake, now let's quickly declare on Epirus, before Atomus did. And she conquer Byzantium course. Also Byzantium will be unwell, so start improving relations, and you might want to develop this province. Preferably don't develop with military points. And let's spend some prestige, okay, local rulers, and you would want to give uh, Byzantium Athens, but once again I can't. Yes, you would want to conquer Athens separately and give it to Byzantium. You can also start building Spanish on Naples as soon as it breaks free, and the second country form take Republicanism. That is unusual, but you would need to clone Ipers anyway, and reconquer Byzantium course. Let's give it all to Byzantium, except maybe Arta so I can fabricate claim on Naples, and take money. You can also add your new provinces to trade companies. Okay, perfect. Now you want to finish your first mission. This one, Genoese trade dominance. It would be quite easy, you just need to get sexy trade power in Genoa. How to do it? Choose protect trade edict, let's wait for a month, and here it is, sexy trade power. Anyway, now we get claims on Tunisia, Nizza, Pisa. 
We will switch on our armies to our mainland. Okay, let's have a claim on Naples and Salenta maybe. And give this project to Byzantium. Oh, I forgot. About Ottomans. So in theory there are two ways. First way is to wait until they declare on some Anatolian or Asian nation, until they're not here. Barrage and assault Kalipolo, quickly occupy Balkan, so all the usual strat. It works for Genoa, but doesn't work for Byzantium. Or you could just get as many allies as possible and ground them with allies. Depends on your choices. You also have African and Italian expansions. So what to do now depends on your game, actually. You could declare on Florence and Lucas, Savoy or Siena, or you could declare on Tunis or on Ottomans. Yes, we can declare on Ottomans in this case, so might be worth a try, let's say. Okay, let's move them back. You might ask why won't I declare on Luca or Florence? Because HRE. While in HRE they will cast more aggressive expansion. Ideally you should focus not on Italy until like 1460s. That's when Italian nations leave the HRE. So it's a good opportunity to declare Ottomans, so let's do it. And choose your rivals carefully, because I didn't see this. So in theory I could allow friends, but because I rival Switzerland, I can't. Make sure you don't repeat the same mistakes. Well, anyway, I would remove this rival, right now let's just declare on Ottomans. Just warning, you might need even more guys than I have, because Ottomans get this crude general. We could also get it, one second. Workers, naval score rights, grand admiralship, let's check it out. Oh yeah, by the way, not bad, not bad. Anyway, I think let's declare on Ottomans. Because with Austria and Hungary, this will be a piece of cake. Okay, here we go, I built a little bit more galleys, just to be sure. And let me show this strat. So, you click this button, order naval barrage. You might want more mercenaries, just to be sure. Acquire some Cossacks, Levens, doesn't matter. But anyway, I want the assault, even with not so much troops. To win, you need tons of galleys. Like, currently I have 16. Don't be afraid to take loans, you will pay them off. Well, it's going really, really good. But if you can't allay Hungary or call in your allies, or maybe, I don't know, something else, once again, there is very safe threat, just barrage, assault, park your ships here, Ottomans won't be able to cross the Balkans. And we'll just need to wait for the taking war score. We can let peace a queen now, and now we should be able to piss out Ottomans. So you want to reconquest all Byzantine cores, take one Bulgarian province near Kosovo, and take three centers of trade in Anatolia. And you could either take this province, or war reparations. Well, if you want easier war next time, you can take this province, but generally I think war reparations would be better. Let's assign everything to trade company, now we can also divert trade from Byzantium, it should be extremely loyal. Here we go, and it will transfer all of its trade power to us. Let's wait for a little. Yes, here it is. All of its trade power. That's the beauty of much republics. Now for Brigade on Kosovo, and you can release Bulgaria. And by the way, this province is also Bulgarian, so we could in theory take it in the first war against Byzantium and release Bulgaria like this, but I think this way is better just because we would be able to fabricate on Serbia soon. Okay, let's remove Switzerland as our rival. Choose Tunis, why not? Ally France, well can't do it yet, but soon I will. And just want to remind you that it's not necessary to declare on Ottomans that soon. It's just one of many options. Tunis and Italy are good alternatives. And here we go, we can ally France. I found it's usually more than possible, and well, you don't really need to ally France, but it would be good to break its alliances. Soon I will show you how to do it. I already see I can easily declare on Tunis, so let's do it. Better to do it early because Ergon also loves to do it. Also, I forgot to grant strong touches. Do it as soon as you release Bulgaria. Here they are, strong touches. Oh, and by the way, yes, in this event you can choose to either support Austria or France. I would recommend support neutrality. And here we go, Italy will leave HRE. Yes, it's around 1460. Important, remain in the Empire. As next government reform, take frequent elections. From June is just conquer Tunisia area and some centers of trade. Once again, you can add everything to trade company. And don't forget to do it for it here. Okay, here we go, we can finish our first mission, conquer Tunis. And trade travel in Tunis because we have the most trade power here. So now, as you can see, whole Italy left the empire. Again, it's quite rare, most of some nations remain, like Luca, Siena, Mancho, some weak OPMs. But generally, the strong nations will leave. And now let's start expanding into Italy. Luca is the weakest neighbor, we can conquer Luca, go in Hungary, go in Austria, it should be easy. Or the first, I would like to hide our troops. Now it's clear. Oh, and about military coalitions from conquering Tunis. Don't worry, there will be military coalition, but it will consist of North African states. They are extremely weak. A strategy group, I might want to take trade ideas, but you won't, it's a bad idea. Instead, take either diplomatic or espionage. Personally, I prefer diplomatic, but espionage is very good for short sieges. Well, this is not very good RNG, I'll be honest, but we have what I have. If someone allies Milan, well, better to just fight peace, or maybe just take war patience. Let's check out our truce. Yeah, should be fine. The shorter the truce, the better. And let's just fight peace away. Okay. And now let's conquer Luca. Here we go, Luca, coalition, how scary. Let me guess, North Africa? Yeah, North Africa. I personally prefer to take Luca, but you might also take Nisa or Siena. 
After you paid off your loans, you can start building some marketplaces, some workshops. Anyway, the RNG isn't really on my side, so Florence is allied with Aragon. Well, at least the good thing is that Burgundy has a current subway, so it won't join. I didn't just wait for a little bit. But it's not the worst RNG. It also could ally France or Austria. But once again, I will show you how to deal with this. It's actually quite easy. Also, just in case, you can fabricate claims on Milan, Siena and Venice. So, as you might notice, France likes Florence. Thankfully, it hasn't allied yet, but it might. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that it won't join the war, because it likes Florence. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to favors, reduce opinion of Florence, here it is. It will stop liking it, and we will be able to clear on Aragon. In such situations, you can use favors. And by the way, yes, it's quite easy to clear on Aragon with help of friends. Sometimes Aragon might be allied with Austria. In such scenario, you can either and the common SLI, not on Aragon, not make it collaborant and break their lines. Or once again, I will show you. Let's call in Aragon. Okay, let's wait for it. Here it is. Now it will agree. Also, yes, we soon would be able to clear on other months, but I will just go in Austria. That should be more than enough. So, as you might note, no one would join to help Naples. No one. Because France is busy with Aragon. So if you call in your allies in some other war, it won't support its other allies. That's the trick to break alliances. But they won't, like, really break their lines. They just won't join the war until you end your first war. No matter who you're at war with, Aragon, Florence, doesn't matter. You conquer all the provinces and check out the coalition, and start improving relations. Here I need to improve relations with Italian nations. It's extremely, extremely important. The truth with Ottomans has ended, I'm just going to call in Austria and Hungary, and that should be more than enough to win. Let's declare with the conquest, reconquer Bulgarian course. Again, I'm just going to white peace Milan. Be very careful with aggressive expansion, that's why I didn't make Milan belligerent. Okay, let's start Florence. You don't need to fully conquer it. Believe me, don't. Just conquer Firenze and Pisa. That would be enough. But I will. I will fully conquer it. Because why not? Yes, coalition looks scary, but it just looks scary. Take a closer look and you will see that we are either at war with these nations or they're too weak. Okay, let's take some money. Let's white peace Milan. Finish the mission, polarize Pisa. I just love Genese missions, very funny. And we also could declare on Naples, but first I want to make sure everything will be okay. Shame, but I'm afraid I won't be able to conquer Napoli. Well, that's not a big deal. Let's just drag out this war so aggressive expansion cool down some little bit, and we'll conquer some princes from Aragon. Napoli is just a nice half, actually. It's not necessary. Also, seems Savoy has joined the war, I don't know why, let's wait peace. We can also finish the mission protect against Spain. I wouldn't worry, you will be able to complete it anyway. It's not that difficult to have large fleet. As your first ability take justified wars, Salzo has inherited Burgundy. Extremely cursed, but I love it. Okay, let's start the Ottomans. Once again, it wasn't that difficult. Maybe let peace up you know. Yes, and yeah, now I will break Ottomans alliance with Milan. Once again, it shouldn't happen, but well, it happened. All the Mamluks might enter the collision, that's not good. Okay, let's improve relations a little bit. Okay, here we go, let's start the Ottomans. Once again, everything to this company and they were trade from Bulgaria. It should be loyal. I see it with Fort here, and now we can peace out. So ideally you want Sardinia. Next new priority list should be one province from Sicily. And after this, you might want to take these two provinces. Maybe not this one, you can take also this one if you want to. I just don't want to anger France, because this one bothers it. I would also take war patience and transfer trade power. So, these provinces are necessary to release some vessels. But I won't right now because they will be quite unloyal. First, I will either try to annex Bulgaria or Byzantium. Anyway, now we can finish see Sardinia and get claims on Valencia. Once again, there are a lot of potential nations you can declare on, like Serbia, for example, also a good choice. But I declared on Aragon because soon it might become PU of Castile, and that won't be good. Better to deal with it before. Right now, we'll just chill for a little just so aggressive expansion cools down a little bit. Burgundy joined the Empire, quite interesting. Anyway, let's start next to Bulgaria. It will take some time, unfortunately. Next, next as a group, take either Humanist or Administrative. Administrative mostly for granny capacity. Humanist for improved relations. Well, anyway, let's take humanist. Improved relations is really powerful modifier. Let's next reform take one more diplomat. And France not only didn't take Italian lands, but also gave us Nizza. Quite nice. Quite nice. Also, if you have problems with granny capacity before admin tech 8, you can use this button. Expand administration. I've already done this two times. It's not really good, of course, but you don't really have alternatives. I can see that France won't support Naples, and that might be a great idea to declare. And yes, by the way, Byzantium does get some permanent claims on Naples. Well, Milan is also a good opportunity, but, but it's going to cost a lot of crazy expansion, so I think I should wait even more. Milan is extremely difficult to conquer because it's extremely developed. Well, it seems Papal States joined in on the fun. Unfortunate. Oh, I didn't want to conquer whole Naples anyway. It will be quite difficult. Coalition of all HRE. Okay, white peace Ferrara. Okay, and I need to improve relations a little bit more. 
Maybe let's even bribe Sienna. That also should work. And let's see who else is left. Okay, let's buy Indulgence. Improve relations with Switzerland. And yes, that should be enough. Here I go, let's out. And take money. Once again, just look out for opportunities. And I conquered all Genese princes from Naples. Anyway, of course, there is a problem with current capacity. For this, we need new admin tech. And I see you can ally Poland. Let's do it. Always try to find new allies. I already have 30 crownland and quite big army, so I think I should try to release Sicily. And later I will release Valencia. And here we go, court houses. This will really help us because first we would get more gain capacity, second we would be able to build court houses. Do it on the most expensive provinces. They will really save you. As Jenna, you won't have lack of money, but you will have lack of gain capacity. So Papal State has allied Milan, but I don't want to fight Papal State. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ally it and start carrying favors. I will try to break their lines. And also I see soon Bulgaria will get annexed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grant one more privilege. Nobility integration policy, here it is. Just now, so other vessels don't become rebellious. Of course, don't state all of these provinces. No much going to create Byzantium or Bulgaria because you just don't have enough of current capacity. You are much in Republic of Troll. You can either add trade company to all of these provinces or just one province in the state. Okay, the truce with Ottomans has ended. Let's quickly declare. Together with Austria. We can also call it Poland, just wonderful. Won't take much then. To win wars, just use your allies. No need to use your brains. Okay, let's quickly piss out Ottomans. In the peace skill you can take... Oh no, I can't piss out it. But in peace skill you can take some coastline, some Ragusa provinces, take province of Eretna, so you can realize it later. Maybe of Karaman if it's dead. Well, that was really easy. Nothing even to talk about. Now I will also release Valencia. Here it is. Maybe let's ask Austria to prepare for war. And let's declare on Aragon. Once again, should be easy, we're just going to use our allies. So from Castile, you can either break its alliances with Portugal or Aragon, if you want to. But in case with Portugal, it won't really help me. Hypothetically, I would be able to break it later. And with Aragon, it actually might find new, stronger allies. Or it outright may conquer it. Anyway, so I will just take more patience, some money. And now the war will be a piece of cake. Just use your allies and try to piss out, well, their allies. Euphoria is about diplomacy. Also, in theory, I could declare Milan. Because people states won't support it, but well. I forgot that claims do expire, and that's actually quite a problem. Well anyway, maybe I will get few flares with Papal States and break their alliance manually. Even with war score reduction, most likely you won't be able to conquer everything you need. I also have one core here and center of trade. But well, your priority is to conquer Sicily. Note that there is almost zero great expansion for whole Aragonian coast. And now we can finish one more mission, a question of Spain. Here we go, more claims. Also don't forget to once again divert trade from your vessels, and to let's start annexing Byzantium. Also let's annex Sicily and not Byzantium. Would make more sense. Okay, let's break Papal Alliance with Milan. With favors, it's also possible. And quickly conquer as much as possible. To be honest, we just need like three provinces and we'll be able to form Italy. But of course, remember that in your game it might go different when you might uh, declare not on Naples, but on Venice, for example. Or on Ferrara. And by the way, about Ferrara, I forgot. It's already 1500s and that means we need to start relations with Austria. If you have 150 relations with Austria, after 1500, you would be able to finish the question of Empire and get claims on Ferrara. This mission branch is for Venice. It also could be achieved by leaving the HRE, but HRE is just too valuable to abandon it. So, in theory, I could conquer all provinces, it would be possible to improve relations, but that would be already on the edge, let's say. The most important thing is to take Milan, remember it. You need to take Milano, Firenze and Rome to form Italy. I also released Parma, and you might ask why, because it's free province. That's off our lines. Send gift, and we can diplomatically vassalize it. Although, yeah, our vessels are now unloyal, but that won't last for long. I will annex Sicily, and they will become loyal once again. For now, let's just develop them. And you can also buy trust with favors. This will also help with liberty desire. Also, keep in mind, if you have powerful rivals, they will support the of your vessels as soon as they can. Next, reform is situational. Just choose whatever suits you. Well, I will take cannons one. Now I think it's time to break our lines with Papal State. We would need to conquer Rome soon. Sicily annexed, now let's annex Byzantium. Okay, Ferrar is getting annexed, it's our chance to pin down Venice. Once again, always look for opportunities. This is a very good case for this. Well, I wanted to vassalize Ferrara, and then I would be able to call in allies against Venice, but well. One point is also good. Also, I admit the game mysteriously crashed after I was excommunicated. So how to prevent this? Buy indulgence. If you buy indulgence, Pope won't be able to excommunicate you. It would be simply impossible. Okay, the truth with Papal State has ended, now my goal is of course to somehow get my allies to support me. That's not even really that bad actually, could be worse. Uh, because Papal State tends to ally France and Austria. In such cases, either break alliances with waivers, I think we already have 50 waivers here, yeah, almost. And same with France, yeah. 
yeah, it will be easy. Or, like I said, just declare on some other nation, cool in your ally, and declare while they're at war. Uh, but in this case, we need some allies to join, that's not really easy. So you see, if someone refuses to join because of stability hit, it might mean a few things. First thing, it asks for access from this nation, second, it real merit this nation, and third one, I think, is like here. It has good relations with nation, so we need to reduce opinion. Let's try it out. Papal state, interesting. Oh, I see, I can't. Yeah, that's not good. I have too high relations to do this, but I still can call in Austria. It's not hopeless. Well, anyway, I won't declare right now. I will wait until I can embrace new admin tech. Declare on Papal states only when you can form Italy, right after. Instead, I can declare on Siena, for example. Why not? Oh, that might be not safe because of crazy expansion. Okay, here we go. Austria should be free. Let's check it out now. And I think I came up with solution. I can declare not on people state, but on Molonia. And I can even try to clean Poland. Let's ask to prepare for war. And yes, it worked. Always remember that there is always a solution to the magic problems. You always can try something out. Okay, this should be relatively easy. Yes, I'm just using my allies basically to win the wars. And start improving relations with nation that would join the coalition, because yeah, it's going to be quite ugly. And I can even call in France. How fortunate. Oh well, yeah, that's the whole sense of strategy of small nations. Use your big allies as kind of order. Anyway, we should be able to sell people's state, even no coalition. That's the power of improved relations. And now we need to call Rome ASAP. We need to form Italy as soon as possible, because occupation of Rome gives you quite big debuff. Keep in mind. Also, once again, that's really, really important. Don't forget to buy independence. If you don't buy indulgence, you will have quite big problems with coalition. Okay, I think I will just conquer Ferrara to avoid big coalition. Let's uh, check out who will join. Siena, Venice, Milan. We need to improve relations a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Let's pass out. Maybe even take two provinces. Although, no, not really. Well, we could, but it's better to spend aggressive expansion on Genoese provinces. Okay, let's finish feast in Ferrara. And let's wait for Rome to be poured. Rome is squared, now let's form Italy. But I form it, well, just to end the video, but you shouldn't. You should first finish your Genese mission tree. It's quite cool, actually. Anyway, let's form Italy. Once again, do it only after you complete the missions. Take new ideas, Italian ideas are the best. And we are already number one great power, basically. And we are quite rich. Not the richest nation, but quite close. That's mostly because of how our trade works. I can't uh, funnel trade from Constantinople to Genoa. Well, anyway, what to do now? If you haven't yet conquered all Genoese provinces, it's very important. I only have 80%, but that's not a lot. Now you can expand into Valencia and Sevilla, and you can expand into Venice, Aragusa, Constantinople, and other eastern territories. It would net you an insane amount of money. Basically, just use your allies as your cannon fodder, and you would be able to easily win. Geno has tons of expansion opportunities. Thank you for watching, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.